ഹായ് വെൽക്കം ടു ഹീലിംഗ് ട്യൂൺസ് പ്ലീസ് വാച്ച് ദ വീഡിയോ Today we are discussing about Neuroanatomy, Peripheral Nervous System and Overview. The Peripheral Nervous System consists of the nerves that branch out from the brain and spinal cord. These nerves form the communication network between the cns and the body part peripheral nervous system mainly divided in the somatic nervous system and autonomic nervous system the somatic nervous system consists of nerves that go to the skin and muscles and is involved in conscious activities autonomic nervous system consists of nerves that connect the cns to the visceral organs such as the heart stomach and intestine etc it mediated unconscious activities the structure of now a nerve contains bundles of nerve fibers either axons or dendrites surrounded by connective tissue see the structure uh, in nerves motor neuron is the sensory neuron is the nerve fibers then perineum uh, outer lay outer uh, epi uh, epineurum and uh, endoneurum this is the structure nerve trunk sensory nerve contain only afferent fibers long dendrites of sensory neurons see the sensory neuron structure motor nerve have only efferent fibers long axons of motor neurons mixed nerves contain both type of fibers see the motor neuron structure there's long axons is present then next is structure of peripheral nerve each peripheral nerve trunk contains of number of nerve fibers bundle or fasciculi there are three protective covering of connective tissue in each nerve trunk first one is endoneurium perineurium and epineurium endoneurium it is a loose and delicate connective tissue that surrounds the individual nerve fibers in fact it lies between the nerve fiber within a nerve bundle second layer is the perineurium it is a smooth sheet made up of a constant a uh, concentric layer of collagenous connective tissue that surrounds the bundle of nerve fiber the perineurium consists of perineural cell third layer is the epineurium it is a dense connective tissue sheath which surrounds and encloses the bundles of nerve fibers forming the nerve trunk that is it surrounds the entire nerve it contain tiny blood and lymph vessels the fibers within a peripheral nerve trunk derive considerable mechanical strength from these 
three layers of connective tissue. The axon of the nerve cell is termed nerve fiber. The bundles of nerve fibers found in the CNS are referred to as nerve tract. The bundles of nerve fibers found in the peripheral nervous system are called peripheral nerves. Nerve fibers are divided into two categories myelinated nerve fiber and non myelinated nerve fiber. Myelinated nerve fiber the large diameter fibers are wrapped by variable number of concentric layers of Schwann cell plasma membrane forming the myelin sheet. Such nerve fibers are called myelinated nerve fibers. See the picture. Uh, axon is covered the myelinated sheet. That is the myelinated axon. This nerve fibers is the myelinated nerve fibers. Non myelinated nerve fibers, small diameter axons, for example, those of the autonomic nervous system, and small pain fibers are simply enveloped by the cytoplasm of Schwann cells. These nerve fibers are said to be non myelinated nerve fibers. See the picture non myelinated axons. Next is classification of peripheral nervous system. Peripheral nervous system is mainly classified into type A fibers type 2 fibers so uh, type a type b fibers type c fibers type a fibers again divide into afferent fibers and efferent fibers type a fibers these are large diameter myelinated axon and therefore conduct action potential at the great speed 15 to 120 meter per second. Motor neurons supplying skeletal muscles and most sensory ne neurons have type A fibers. Consequently, rapid response to external stimuli is possible as there is rapid input of sensory information to CNS on one hand and rapid output of action potential to skeletal muscle on the other hand. Then type A fibers again divide into afferent fibers and efferent fibers. Afferent fibers is the uh, three uh, group three groups fibers. One uh, group one fibers, group two fibers, and group three fibers. Group one fiber from annulospiral ending of the muscle spindle one a and Golgi tendon organs one b. Group two uh, fibers from lower uh, flower spray ending of the muscle spindles, touch and pressure receptors. Group 3 from pain and temperature receptors. Afferent fibers are the sensory fibers. Somatic sensory fibers. Next is the efferent fibers. Efferent fibers are motor subgroups. Motor neurons are the efferent fibers. That is mainly alpha fibers, beta fibers, and gamma fibers. 
alpha fibers supply extra few cell muscle fibers beta fibers few in number supply extra few cell muscle and muscle spindles gamma fibers supply intrafusal muscle fibers of muscle spindles next is the type b fibers type b fibers is also known as preganglionic autonomic fibers these are medium diameter myelinated axon and conduct action potentials at a lower period 3 to 15 minute per second meter per second next is the type c fibers is known as post ganglionic autonomic also visceral and somatic afferent for pain and temperature sensations these fibers are small diameter non myelinated axons that conduct action potential at a very slow speed 2 meter per second or less the type b b and c fibers are primarily found in the autonomic nervous system which supplies internal organs such as stomach intestine the response necessary to maintain internal homeostasis such as digestion need not be as rapid as external environment these are the classification of peripheral nervous system peripheral nervous system again divided into cranial nerves and spinal nerves we have 12 pairs of cranial nerves and 31 pairs of spinal nerves cranial nerves are the sensory nerves motor nerves and mixed nerves then spinal nerves have somatic somatic sensory fibers visceral sensory fibers somatic motor fibers and visceral motor fibers that's known as autonomic motor nerves somatic and sensory fibers convey nerve impulses from skin bones muscles and joints to the cns visceral sensory fibers convey nerve impulses from visceral organs and blood vessels to the cns somatic motor fibers carry nerve impulses from cns to the skeletal muscles visceral motor fibers also called autonomic motor fibers carry impulses from cns to the cardiac muscles glands and smooth muscles within the visceral organs this is the type of uh, nerve neurons in the somatic sensory visceral sensory somatic motor and uh, uh, visceral motor fibers or autonomic motor fibers somatic sensory fibers supply to the skin bone muscles and joints visceral sensory uh, supply to the visceral organs blood vessels somatic motor supply the skeletal muscles autonomic motors or visceral motors supply to the smooth muscle cardiac muscle and glands cranial nerves is the three types sensory afferent fiber uh, nerves motor efferent nerves and mixed 
both sensory and motor nerves is in, uh, included in the sensory neuro uh, sensory nerves uh, first cranial nerve olfactory second optic and eighth vestibular cochlear nerves motor uh, nerves included third cranial nerve oculomotor fourth cranial nerve trochlear then sixth cranial nerve abducens eleventh uh, cranial nerve uh, spinal accessory and twelfth cranial nerve hypoglossal mixed nerves Bo uh, both sensory and motor are uh, included in this uh, nerves that is the fifth cranial nerve trigeminal seventh facial nerve ninth glossopharyngeal 10th vagus then spinal nerves spinal nerves arises from the spinal cord by two routes the anterior route and posterior route it has 31 pairs of spinal nerves which arise from the spinal cord uh, that is 8 cervical nerves 12 thoracic nerves 5 lumbar nerves 5 sacral nerves and 1 coccygeal nerves The spinal nerves are named according to the region of the vertebral column with which are associated. A typical spinal nerve arises from the spinal cord by two routes, anterior root and posterior root. The anterior root consists of bundles of nerve fibers which carry nerve impulses away from the spinal cord. These fibers are called motor afferent fibers. The cell of origin lie in the anterior horn of the spinal cord. The posterior root contain, consists of bundles of nerve fibers which carry impulses to the spinal cord these are called sensory afferent fibers. The cell bodies of these nerve fibers are lo located outside the spinal cord in a swelling on the posterior root called posterior root ganglion. The posterior root ganglion is located in the intervertebral foramen. Then next spinal nerves, they formed spinal plexus, cervical plexus, brachial plexus and lumbosacral plexus. That is the uh, lumbar plexus and sacral plexus. Except the thoracic nerve from T3 to T11, the anterior primary rame of the all spinal nerves join together and branch to form a network of nerves known as nerve plexus. First one is the cervical plexus. Cervical plexus made up of C1 to C4 spinal nerves. Innervates the muscles of neck and diaphragm second is the brachial plexus made up of c5 to t1 spinal nerves innervates muscles of upper limb Next is the lumbar plexus made up of L1 to L4 supplies mostly muscles of the thigh. 
Next is the sacral plexus. Sacral plexus from the L5 to S5 supplies mostly muscles of leg and foot. The branches arising from plexus are also termed peripheral nerves. The formation of nerve plexus allow individual nerve fibers to pass from one peripheral nerve to another. A nerve plexus thus permits a nerve fibers within the different peripheral nerves. The collection of nerve cell bodies outside the central nervous system is called ganglia. There are two types of ganglia, sensory ganglia and autonomic ganglia. Sensory ganglia located on the dorsal root of spinal nerves and on the trunk of some cranial nerves, trigeminal, facial, glossopharyngeal and vagus, have the same structure. Each ganglion has a connective tissue capsule surrounding the cell bodies of primary sensory neuron. These neurons are of unipolar type having oval or rounded cell body. A single process leave the cell body and after a short convoluted course bifurcated at the T-junction into the peripheral and central process. Next is the autonomic ganglia. The autonomic ganglia are of two types sympathetic ganglia and parasympathetic ganglia. The, para, uh, the sympathetic ganglia are located in the sympathetic chains present one on, one on each side of the paravertebral region. They are also located in front of the vertebral column in the abdominal cavity. Next is the parasympathetic ganglia are located close to close to in the wall of the viscera. Each autonomic ganglion consists of a collection of multipolar neurons and is covered by a layer of connective tissue called capsule. The autonomic ganglia are in the sites where preganglionic nerve fibers synapse on postganglionic neurons. These are about the peripheral nervous system. Next sessions we are discussing the receptors and effectors in nervous system. Please subscribe the channel, like the video and share it. Thank you for watching our channel.